It is well and truly sweatshirt season. It's cold, it's rainy, and what better thing to wear under your puffer jacket than a nice sweatshirt. Especially if you're sick of hoodies or that hoodie is a bit too bulky under a jacket. Or simply you just want a nice casual look. Sweatshirts are everywhere right now and I've got six to show you today. Things that I look out for in a sweatshirt. Firstly, obviously the color. Then I look at the neck. Is this area here between the stitching and the neck, is it too fat, is it too thin, the quality of it. Then I look at how tight it is around the neck, is it too tight making it look like a wetsuit, is it too fat. And then just things like the quality, the softness, the feel of it, etc, etc. So starting off is this one, this is just a $20 Kmart sweatshirt. Basic, navy, can't go wrong with a dark navy or black colour. It feels not too bad. It's nice just to wear around the house or from ducking down to the shops. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get into a decent sweatshirt, but this one, yeah, 20 bucks, Kmart. It does have some weird sort of arm proportions, but other than that, it's not too bad for 20 bucks. Next up, I've got three industry sweatshirts to show you, which is a brand that's quite popular in Australia. I'm sure you could get it overseas somehow online, but it is, I believe, more of an Australian and New Zealand brand. This is the Del Sur Sweat. The color is Jasper. It's kind of like a teal color. This is 60 Australian dollars. I like the color, I like the fit of it, I like the neck width. It is a bit baggy under the arms. And another thing that I don't like, it is a bit fatter here than I would normally like, and it's quite circular. It doesn't have like more of an oval shape, but that might stretch out a bit. But other than that, it is a, a nice one for the price. So one that I'm glad I got for this season. Okay, next up, another industry, the same style, just a different color. I got three of these, but I did like these darker, greeny colors. This is dark teal. Same thing applies. Yeah, the quality is decent. It's not overly soft. Another thing to look out for is, yeah, the, the quality of the arms. And they seem okay for the price. The neck is okay. I don't mind it. But yeah, same as the other one. This is a nice color. It comes up nice on camera. So I think I will keep this one. This is the third and final industry Del Sur Sweat. The color is slate. So more of a gray color. Next up, we've got this one, the Country Road. Also in a bit of a green tinge, but different. This is how this color compares to the, to the Jasper color, so it is a bit different. This one cost $120, and you can tell the quality difference to the industry ones. It's just a bit softer, the arms are a bit smoother. It just feels like it has a bit better quality. Just around the neck, it just feels a bit thicker. I don't know if the if it's got double the material inside, but it just it is thicker around the neck, so better quality. The sleeves seem a bit tighter, a bit more elastic than the industry ones, but this is double the cost. It hugs my body a bit better. It's a bit tighter around the arms. Remember all that flappy arm from the industry ones? I'm not sure why they do that. This one, yeah, this is a more of what I would call a premium sweat. $120 country road. I think they gear it to more of a mature audience, whereas industry is a bit more of a younger brand. I've seen quite a few people wear this particular color around. This is a very popular style. The reason I got this $120 one from Country Road, I actually got a $100 one from Country Road, and the quality was, I will say, bad, even worse than the $70 industry ones. It had a really fat, thin, layer here around the neck and I had to return it to and spend more to get this one. So there are some bad quality sweatshirts out there. Make sure you're getting good bang for buck. And I think a lot of these brands, I don't know if they're cutting costs or they're trying to, yeah, cut costs with materials uh, or charge more for sweatshirts that last year or the year before were cheaper. But I'll show you with the next sweat, the next final sweatshirt. But yeah, again, Country Road, can't go wrong if you want to spend a bit more money. Is it worth double? That's for you to decide. And finally, the Country Road sweatshirt. Similar to the other one, except it's got the print here. Like I mentioned before, Country Road do have these print ones. They're the $100 cheaper ones now, but the quality is not good as this one, which I got a few years ago. This one feels more like the $120 one I've just shown you, the green one. This one also just seems to have that extra little bit of softness in the material. This is my favorite because I feel like the quality has gone down a little bit and this has got a good weight. 
I like the neck area. It's probably mostly the same as the other one I showed you. But yeah, as I said, this is my favorite one, around $80 a few years ago, and they do have print ones now that are $100, but not as good as this one. Anyway, these are sweatshirts, basic fashion item that you should have. Let me know which one of these was your favorite in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to see more videos from me. That will be the video for today. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.